ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He will lead this one off today. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Two one. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Santana handles it for the first out of the game. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Martinez. Jose. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's been a steady five for nine. He's taken him deep once. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Fastball hit on the ground is short. On to first, and there were two down. Now to the plate, Austin Meadows. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. Hold that thought, though. This ball's hammered to deep center field. Back at the wall, and it's gone. to the plate now Brandon Lowe way inside with that one a pretty easy take there as a veteran out on the mound that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire bases are empty here with two men out swing and a miss and that ends the inning Here's Elvis Andrus now. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Meadows moving back. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. 1-1. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. He's two for seven in the series so far. The 1-1. One, one. Ball. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Up next for the Rays, G-Man Choi. The 1-1. One, one. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Now the one and one pitch. Doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. Two ball, one strike. 
Well, he just threw that fastball by him. The 2 2. Line to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Here's Joey Gallo now. Two hits and eight tries for the series. And it's one and two. Got him. Up next for the Rangers, Danny Santana. It was a two-head effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. The 1 1 home is laid ball. off for ball two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. The 2 2. Now that's popped up. Diaz will wait on it. And that's out number two. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He's coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. The 2-1 home will not catch the zone. Ball three. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Martinez will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Stepping in, Mike Zanino. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Drilled to first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Batting up, the fellow fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. So now to the plate, Kevin Kiermaier fouled away. To two balls and two strikes now. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A full count to the Rays center fielder. Fouled off. Zanino aboard here at first with nobody out. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try it again, three and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. To the plate now for the Rays is the now DH, back. Joey <laughs> Wendell. Joey Wendell. The one two runners on first with one down and now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now now batting stepping up now Jose Martinez he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far he set now the pitch Ball. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Lifted down the line and left. 
And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Another full count pitch home. Hit hard up the middle. There is Andrus. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Now at the plate Ronald Guzman. A match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. The 1-1. One, one. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. And he'll pull in the second here with nobody out. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2 is swung on and missed strike three. So striding in, Ruben Odor, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 1 2. No. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Throw in time and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. Ready now, Austin Meadows. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. One run, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Drilled to the right side. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard the now. Bat. The first base run. G-Man four. Into the box now. G-Man Choi. This is on the ground over to first. Andrus to first and Guzman to complete the double play. Stepping into the box, Willie Adamas hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One and two. Here it is. Line to the right side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The third baseman, number two, Yandi Diaz. Into the box, Yandi Diaz. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting. The pepper. Mike. In now, Mike Sanino. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over.
standing in, Matt Duffy. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. And he struck him out. So next to the plate for Texas, Willie That's Calhoun. He looked to bounce back after striking really? out his last time up. Calhoun. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here's the 2-2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Joey Gallo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he fouls this one off. No runs just one hit and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Rick Martin the 6 4 southpaw comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 59. All ready to go in the top of the fifth standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. Flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Joey Wendell digs in now. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Bases are empty here with two men out. Martino. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. In now, Danny Santana. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matt, he's got to lower his sights a little bit right now. We talk a lot about this, the elevated heater. We're seeing it so much in today's game. He's got to find a way to make this pitcher work down in the zone just a little bit more. And there's out number one. Digging in for his second at bat, Shin Su Chu. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2 and 2. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. The first baseman. Ronald. Good and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Austin Meadows. The 1 1 home it is swung on and missed for strike number two. Now a 
foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first down. Now batter. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Popped him up. Guzman has room in foul territory. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. G-Man Choi the next to hit. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Starting to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, standing in, Robinson Chirinos. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he'll have himself a leadoff single as this is through into left. Stepping in now, Rupnit Odor fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. On to first, a double play. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. The 1-1 one, one home. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Here it comes now to Andrus. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Luis Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. New inning set to get underway. At the plate, Willie Adamas singled home a run in his last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on and missed. 2012. One ball, two strikes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Chu at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The third baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. So now to the plate, Yandy Diaz. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One strike. Three and one now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Fouled off. Once again, a 3-2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Runner at second, one away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. High in the air out to center field. Santana is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Into the box now, Matt Duffy. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Go. 
2 2. Here it is. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Hitter, number five. Next will be the Willie. designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Misses, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Three balls and a strike to Willie Calhoun. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Adamas brings it in. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Swinging a soft liner. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Colby Allard has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, so Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Joey Wendell, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Chew on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now Digging in to try it again. Jose Martinez. Jose. Bases are empty. Martinez. One man out. Down no. low. Two balls and a strike. This is skied out toward right. On the move is Chu. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in, Austin Meadows. He went down on strikes last time up. Two out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gallo is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 46. Ready for another shot now. Danny Santana. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. The count now at two and one. the pitch and opposite field as he lines this down the line in right and now it'll rattle up against the wall and he's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two base hit to the plate now Shin Su Chu swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, 1-1. One, one, might as well fish a little bit further. Soft liner to the left side. And there's one down now. Digging in, Ronald Guzman. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. One-one. Uh, one. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. He's fallen behind now, three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. There's ball four. Anderson Tejeda will come on now and pinch run here. Up next to the Rangers, the Packers, Bob 
Digging in, Robinson Chirinos. A hit in two tries so far. He stays alive, still two and two. From the stretch. Grounder down the line at third. And this will get by him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. Throw won't get him. And that's going to bring in the run from second to make this a one-run game now. At the plate now, Rukna to door. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Yeah. Fastball laid off well below the knees. A full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Elvis Andrews will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. One one home. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The two one. Matt Duffy is on deck. The three one. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Jose LeClerc comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. LeClerc is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty B, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits in an inning to score a run. He keeps his walks per nine inning. Is it really down? And you look at his hits per nine innings pitch. It's no wonder why this guy's one of the top relievers in the game right now. Full count now. 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. G-Man Choi. The 1-2 is looked at for ball number two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Willie Adamas. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the one and one pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. Yandy Diaz would be next. And this is taken low for ball four. And they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. The third baseman, number two. Into the box now. Yandy Diaz. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty. And hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. All even now, two and two. Has a look, now the pitch.
struck him out so it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. Nick Anderson comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 70. Nick. Stepping in, Matt Duffy. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batting. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Willie really? really Calhoun. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Popped him up. And he'll make the catch to end it, and the Rays have come in here and finished off a three-game sweep as this one is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Tampa Bay jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Tyler Glasnow takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Jordan Lyles was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Nick Anderson closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rangers, one run, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.